I've come out to my local fell for a walk uh, so I'm climbing High Pike which is in the northern Lake District it's very close to the village of Colbeck it's about nine miles from where I live and if I want to get out into the fells quickly for a short walk this is one of my favorite locations to come uh, High Pike is 600 and 58 meters high so not particularly high and it's to the north of Skiddaw and the northern fells are particularly beautiful stretch of the Lake District I come here a lot not only because it's close to where I live but also because it's much quieter compared to the central lakes places like Keswick which is only a few miles from here it's much much quieter you don't get the crowds of tourists that you get in other parts of the Lake District. Uh, so High Pike is a good one for me, it doesn't take long to climb, you get some really beautiful views and it's also a fantastic location to watch the sunset although today is rather overcast and grey so I don't think there'll be much of a sunset today but uh, it's just a lovely place to get out, uh, get some exercise, fresh air and to clear my head and uh, you get wonderful views over to the Pennines uh, to the east and to the Eden Valley and then views over the Solway coast and to Dumfries and Galloway so that's where I'm heading now up to the summit of High Pike visitors to the Lake District can sometimes be mistaken in thinking that the landscape has always been like this but actually the landscape of the Lake District has been very much influenced by the impact of humankind uh, both through farming but also through mining and that's true of High Pike and Corbett Common. Uh, Corbett Common as you uh, walk around it you will notice has been mined quite extensively and it was mined from the medieval period right through to the 20th century for minerals and you can see the signs of that mining industry as you walk up the fell and that's true of a lot of the Lake District. The Lake District is a landscape that has been managed and altered over the centuries for various different activities. The village of Colbeck is one of the Lake District's most attractive villages and until recently was, uh, wasn't particularly well known uh, but seems to have been discovered in the last year or two maybe partly as a result of the Covid pandemic uh, but it is a lovely village it's also the home to Chris Bonington who is arguably Britain's most famous mountaineer Cumbria is of course famous for the Lake District and rightly so it's one of the most beautiful corners of this country and arguably one of the most beautiful corners of the world but Cumbria has also many other stunning areas of uh, countryside and uh, one of the things I love about this corner of the Lake District the Northern Fells is just that sense of space that you get here and uh, just over there behind me you can see the lowlands of Scotland uh, over here got the Pennines and there's just that sense of real freedom here uh, you've got the Eden Valley also uh, in the Pennines which is one of the most attractive and most unspoiled parts of uh, Cumbria and along the coast you've got some really spectacular scenery as well so you've got uh, the Solway estuary, the Solway Firth uh, which is one of the most important breeding grounds for birds in the country and uh, some lovely uh, coastline along there so uh, you really get that sense of space here in the northern fells and uh, this is what for me makes this corner of Cumbria so special and so spectacular
High Pike isn't a dramatic fell, but what it does reward you with is the most spectacular view of the Northern Lake District. And you only really see that view in the very last few minutes of the walk to the summit. And then suddenly you have this vast expanse of Lake District mountains from Skiddaw, Blencathra, uh, down towards High Street. And it really does reward you for the effort of climbing the fell. One of the reasons I love this fell so much is you get the most spectacular sunsets and I wasn't expecting a sunset tonight because it's overclassed but the sun is peeking through the clouds and it's just the most beautiful wonderful place to end the day with just me and the sheep on the fell overlooking the Irish Sea in Scotland it really is a magical place.